My name is Michael Clemens. I'm a senior fellow at the Center for Global Development in Washington, D.C., and right now I'm a visiting scholar here at NYU at the Wagner School of Public Policy and the Financial Access Initiative. Most of my research is about international migration, where I think a lot of people have uh, uh, ideas about the effects of international migration on development that deserve more uh, testing with empirical evidence. That's one of the reasons I'm interested in impact evaluation. To me, rigorous impact evaluation is something that is much more than just talking about what a project did. Uh, it is talking about how some very important outcome changed with the project in a way that it wouldn't have changed without the project. So the, the first thing I want to say is that rigorous, careful impact evaluation is definitely not always appropriate or important. If you are trying to get water to people after the catastrophic earthquake in Haiti. That is not a situation where we need to stop and devote lots of resources to rigorous impact evaluation. To me, careful, rigorous impact evaluation is about persuasion. It's about uh, leveraging a small group of persuaded individuals into a larger movement with transparent, objective criteria for learning. There are specific cases where it needs to be done when it's impossible to reach the entire targeted population all at once so that there must be some criterion for rolling out the project uh, to some initial population, why not do that in a way that allows the kind of learning that we need? So, for example, the president tomorrow could send the National Guard to build a school anywhere in America. And if you asked the men and women of the Guard, what did you do? They'd say, we built a school, and they'd be right. But why do we build schools? We build schools so kids can learn. And it could be the case that if that community would have come up with the means to build a school some other way and have kids learn some other way, kids wouldn't have learned more because of that intervention than without it. Those two things can be true at the same time. Uh, rigorous impact evaluation is about carefully comparing important outcomes. So one, example of a situation where I think the importance of a rigorous evaluation is self-evident is uh, discussed in a, a paper that I wrote with Gabriel Demombin of the World Bank, and it takes a close look at some statements of the Millennium Villages Project, a, a village-level package development intervention going on across Africa, run by the United Nations and uh, Columbia University. In a report they issued last year, they discussed the impacts the achievements, the effects of their project. And one of those that they listed was that at some of the intervention sites, mobile phone ownership had increased enormously. Bonsaso, Ghana, a place where they had been working for years, uh, over a period of five years, mobile phone ownership went up from 4% of the households to 30% of the households, and that's described as an effect, an impact of the uh, intervention. What we did in the paper is something very simple, which is just to ask, in the rural areas of Ashanti region, where Bonsasso is located, how fast has cell phone ownership been going up in recent years? Because that's an imperfect but pretty good proxy for what would have happened in Bonsasso, Ghana, had the project never come along. And it turns out that it went up 28%, whereas in Bonsasso, Ghana, over the same period, it went up 26%. That suggests that, uh, once again, that the, what the project achieved, which was to encourage cell phone ownership uh, uh, in, in approximate sense, if you, if you ask the people on the site, what did you do? You say, well, we helped people have cell phones. Could be quite different from the underlying impact of the project, which is the difference in trends in cell phone ownership with and without the project, which in this case is negative 2%. It's pretty much zero. We can. Uh, 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 again, this is not a, this per se is not a, a rigorous impact evaluation, but it suggests that the burden of proof should be on someone who claims that the project caused any difference in trends in cell phone ownership. And it certainly uh, suggests that it's premature to say that the project caused a massive increase in cell phone ownership. Continuing with the theme of the Millennium Villages project, uh, that project is doing a, a, a very extensive internal evaluation. What they are doing right now is comparing treated villages to uh, comparison sites where the treatment did not take place, comparison sites that were chosen after the project began. 
in a way that makes it difficult to determine whether differences between the treatment and control sites are in fact reflect the effects of the project or some pre-existing or difficult to observe difference between the treatment sites and the comparison sites. What we suggest in our paper is just choosing the treatment sites and control sites in a different way, and that almost costs nothing. It costs very little in addition to what they're already doing. So evaluation costs money, but rigorous evaluation often is just a, a choice that costs very little more than, than what uh, many organizations are already doing.